Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a love it or leave it if you guys are new here, which I feel like it's mostly my regulars watching the love it or leave it. But this is kind of my quarterly activewear check-in where we do a bunch of mini reviews and boy do I have a lot of mini reviews today, as well as some quality updates if there are any activewear or other pieces that I've noticed have or haven't been holding up over time. And finally, any favorites or just things that I would like to mention over here. So today we have a couple affordable activewear wear pieces. We got a couple patula pieces. We got some colorful koala. We have some ox jocks. We have a good mix. So if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the mini reviews. I'm hoping I can get this video up before the launch, but if not, it will be very close to the launch or it'll just be here for reference. But Tula is having a launch on July 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And that last launch was definitely more neutrals and everything, but this launch is definitely more bright, fun colors. I'm wearing one of the top right now and you guys know as much as I am a neutral girly sometimes the colors are where I truly thrive I do also have a discount code with Petula make sure to use it to get I believe it's five percent off the code is Catherine and they have a bunch of fun colors including this little lilac color they also have this coral and then we have this deeper teal and this Kelly green color so I don't actually know the color names right now I don't know if they've actually announced them on my little package insert it just says light green dark green if there are colors I will put them on the screen somewhere. But first of all, we have the return of the Cassie leggings and shorts. I will say the Cassie's not my favorite Petula bottom. I love how soft the material is, but I do definitely feel like it has an end point to the stretch, whereas some of their other fabrics, like the fabric in the Valerie leggings, in the Bear, in the Peak, it just has like endless stretch and is so flattering. These do have a very high rise, as well as no top band, and of course, no front seam. All the seam detailing on the Cassies is a very delicate seam, very similar to like a Buff Bunny Rosa, and they have the Petula logo written out at the back. So they have the Cassie shorts as well as the Cassie leggings. All right, here are the Cassie shorts. I love the six inch. They are a little bit snug on the thighs, but I definitely would still consider them thick thigh friendly. I think overall they're true to size, but I would definitely size up if in between. They're not super compressive, but I think because they lack a little bit of stretch, like I was saying, they just feel like a little bit more like a medium compression. And then we have the back. The seams do go above the glutes, but you just get a lot of like, I don't know, it feels like a lot of pancake butt going on. It's not like a low on the booty scale or anything. They're definitely still a medium, but I just really wish this fabric had a little more stretch and hugged the curves a little bit more. For that reason, the Cassies are not my number one, but the thick waistband is nice. They're a super high rise, and I love that they come in the multiple color options. And then there also are a bunch of tops in this collection, which I'm super excited about. So I have the one that I'm wearing here. This is the crew cropped tee, and I actually got all of my tops to now be in smalls instead of mediums where I got before and I just feel like it's a better fit. All right, here's the top. Wearing a size small. I would say it's true to size, but if you're in between, I would size up. It just feels a little bit tight in the armpits, not to a point where it's going to make me uncomfortable, but I definitely feel it a little bit. It's made of that same fabric as the Cassie, so it's really soft to the touch. Definitely more of a mid-length crop. As you see here, I'm really not showing very much skin when wearing this with the high-waisted Cassie bottoms. And we have a full belt-in bra with cut pads with an elastic and it actually provides a decent amount of support. Like with the compressive over layer, I'm honestly getting a solid medium to high support. The back doesn't have anything to it really. You do see that band a little bit on the inside, but that's just the trade-off of having that built-in bra. And I personally would rather have the support that have a seamless back. The only thing I found about this one is it is a little bit difficult to adjust the cup pads on the inside because you can't really like reach around and adjust them that way. Like you have to kind of like get in there and kind of like move around the cut pads like as best you can because definitely after putting them on, they are not really in the right positions. There's also the notched crop tee. So we have a little V-neck with almost like a little notch detail. And I just feel like they did what I always am looking for in a top. I don't like to have to wear a second layer under my tops. So they added a built-in bra with cut pads, elastic, everything under these tops this time. So I absolutely love that. They are a cropped fit, but I feel like they're a little more of like a mid-length crop. So this is the notch crop. Okay, I love this 
one so much more than the other one. The other one, I, it felt tight. It was a little harder to get on because the neck was like so, you know, crew cropped. This one has that open neck. I don't feel that tightness in the arms and it still has the coverage on the bottom and the support of the inner bra. And you have to pop a cleavage, just like a little bit, not very much, but I just think this is so cute. And in this coral color for summer, I'm one over. This is definitely my favorite of all the tops. Definitely would say this one is more true to size, but I would still probably size up if you're in between. And then we still have that full coverage situation at the back. I feel like even if you wore this to work out, you're not really gonna fall out of it, even though there's that little V neck detail, a little pop of cleavage, I still feel very secure. And then we also have the fitted t-shirt. So for my girlies looking for a little full coverage, Petula has us covered this time. Every launch needs to have at least like some sort of longer option for people who aren't looking for something super cropped. This one is just a single layer of that Cassie fabric. So you will have to wear some sort of bra underneath this. But if the built-in bras just don't really work for you, like it's not enough support for you, you definitely have the freedom to add a high support option under something like this. All right, so here we have the top. It's just one layer. There's no bra or any support under this. I'm wearing another one of the tops under this one. It is a true full length, kind of scoops down a little bit in the front and a little bit in the back. I would say it's definitely a slim fit, but it's not so tight where I would feel like I would need to size up. Definitely I get a little bit more compression up in the bra area, but I don't really mind that. Kind of a wider scoop neck, which is nice because it doesn't like, you know, ruin your makeup every time you put it on. And little short sleeves. Definitely would recommend true to size, but if you want maybe a little bit of looseness, you don't want it super skin tight, or you're worried about the bust area, you definitely could size up for those reasons. And then you guys, we have flare leggings. Our first flare legging from Petula. Petula loves a wide leg pant, which their wide leg pants have become like a favorite of mine. We're going to talk about that in my favorites, but I don't think they have done a flare legging yet. So this is our first one. It is, it comes in a 29 inch and a 32 inch inseam. I'm really more of a 33 inch inseam kind of girl. So maybe we'll be able to make these work. Maybe we won't. I don't know, but it's basically the shape of the Cassie leggings in flare legging form. So we have that kind of taller waistband. We have that thin seam detail in the back with a little bit of a glute contour seam. It's about the same amount of glute V tapering as the Cassie leggings and shorts. We have a little extended crotch gusset, just slightly extended. And these are only coming in the black and they have a flare at the end. So we're gonna do a full try on of these just to make sure we're not getting a Clydesdale horse effect because that is a very common thing that happens with flare leggings that are just a little too skinny at the knee. All right, so we got the flare leggings and my concerns are coming true. Again, just something about this Cassie fabric, I really feel like it's just gotta go. It's not nearly as good as their other fabrics and they keep coming out with so much in it. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. Like if this happens more in the Cassies than others, but I definitely get like some settling into the crotch and I get a little camel, which I almost never get in anything that doesn't have a front seam unless it's like a stiff fabric like this. And I really don't think it comes across as bad as it feels. It just really is giving pancake butt to me. And I know it doesn't look that bad, but when you like feel the fabric, it just doesn't wanna like contour to your curves. And I think that's what it is. It's just not stretchy enough to like contour to every curve. So I'm honestly not too upset that not only are these giving kind of Clydesdale horse, they are snug basically to the bottom of my calf and then they flare, which for my thick calf girlies, it just doesn't work for us. It's just, it's got to flare a little bit sooner. So I had a feeling. And then also the 32 inch inseam is just a little short for me. Like it looks okay at a glance, but as soon as you put shoes on and you're actually walking around, they turn into floods. So yeah, the Cassie flare leggings are a no for me. Not thick calf friendly, not really tall girl friendly because length is really important more so than a regular legging just because it looks really obvious if they're too short or too long. I think we've made our point clear. Um, overall compression, probably about a medium. Size up if in between, they're definitely a little bit on the snug side. And then we also have Petula's first active dress. They have launched a couple dresses, like they had the bear dress, which was just like one layer of bear fabric. There was no bust support or anything, and it really wasn't an active dress. It was more of like a bodycon lifestyle dress. But this is more of an active dress. I will say there are some things I'm hesitant about, so we will see. But it's made of that Cassie fabric, has a little Petula logo in the back. We have adjustable straps. It has a full built-in bodysuit with no front seam, which is super nice. We also have two side pockets. Looks like a four inch inseam 
on the inner shorts. So a little bit short for me, but honestly, if I'm just like walking around, a four inch short won't always roll on me. It's mostly when I'm at the gym and I don't really wear active dresses in the actual gym. You definitely can, I just don't. And then there is kind of a built-in shelf lining, but it's really not a built-in bra. It's just an extra layer of fabric and it doesn't have an elastic at the bottom. There are no built-in cut pads. This would be more of a light walk kind of dress for me, not like I'm gonna go play pickleball in this and gonna be jumping around. So we'll see, um, but it looks super cute. And honestly, a little green dress, giving very golf vibes. I don't golf, nor will I ever golf. Here is the dress. Unfortunately, it's just like feeling very tight and definitely not really working for my long torso. I feel like it's kind of pulling everything down here, not getting a lot of lift. It's great that it has the adjustable straps to kind of accommodate different torso lengths, but when it's just too short for a long torso, it just doesn't really work. So I still feel like I could wear this for lifestyle, but I won't be wearing this for any workouts. The top coverage is actually pretty decent and we do have I'd say a good like medium coverage up here um, and I'm being kind of compressed so there might be a tiny bit of support but I don't really feel like actually lifted and supported I really love the shape of this how it's like fitted until like the mid waist and then kind of slightly flares away it's not super flared but it's also not like tight all the way down. It's definitely on the short side, like you will see your shorts if you lean over like that. And the shorts themselves are not super long. We have about a four inch inseam. We do have two pretty spacious side pockets and no front seam, so I'm not getting any discomfort in the crotch area from it being not tall enough for me. But yeah, definitely something I see myself wearing for lifestyle, but again, not the most tall girl friendly, and I would love to see the same style of bra that was put into the tops into this dress. I would just level it up so much. And finally, I got the one shoulder crop in the dark green teal color. So this one does have a built-in bra on the inside, which is super nice. And it's just a little one shoulder situation. So we'll see how we're doing on the coverage on this side over here. All right, we have the one shoulder top here. Again, it's kind of a more mid-length, slightly longer crop, really not showing a lot of skin with the high-waisted bottoms. Again, built-in bra with cut pads. I just love to see that because there's nothing worse than finding like something like this and then knowing you're gonna get nippage. The strap support on this side is really nice. Um, I definitely feel like the double boob situation, it just happens with every one shoulder top. So I don't think this necessarily has like not enough coverage because it's actually a good amount of space from the top of the seam to the bottom of the inner bra, but it's just going to slide down a little bit because of that one shoulder situation. So I'd still say it's large cup size friendly, but don't expect a lot of support on this side and it might slide down a little bit. I also would stick true to size because if it's too big, it's definitely going to slide down. And the back is very simple. Put the logo down there and I definitely would say more light to medium support on this side and medium support on this side. And I forgot to mention, there's also this black midi dress as well. This one's also true to size, surprisingly. No gaping in the waist. I feel like they definitely made this to be like hourglass to compress the waist a little bit. It has that same double lining that the sport dress had, except I feel like it works better in this kind of tighter dress because you're not gonna be doing activities in this, so it doesn't really need to be like a full on bra. We do have adjustable straps. Since there's no bodysuit on the inside of this one, the height factor really isn't an issue. I feel like the Cassie fabric actually works really well in the dress because it kind of feels like it's compressing in the right areas. It still has stretch in the right areas and it is a midi length. So it goes right below my knees for me. If you're shorter, it might go more like mid calf, but definitely still a solid midi length. But I definitely feel like this one is giving hourglass, super cute and very comfortable. So Oxtrox definitely is one of the Amazon brands that is continuing to come out with more and more stuff. And I definitely feel like I really like their tops, but they always use like one specific fabric and it's kind of a more structured brushed material. And I just feel like it doesn't do quite as well for leggings for me. I feel like I get a lot of like squishing down of the glutes and it's just not really what I look for. But for tops, I like that it has a little extra structure because it gives a little more support. So this is one of their new sports bras. I thought it was super cute with a little twist detail at the bottom and it still has a good amount of coverage. There's actually no elastics or anything along the bottom. So there is at the back, but not at the front. And then it has this little ring detail that the straps all come to. And I just thought this was such a cute little bra. All right, here's this bra. The only thing I wish is that there was just a little more security along the bottom 
Like I said, there's no elastic down there. So if that's something you avoid, it doesn't have that, but I just feel like I'd be a little more lifted if I had that. Other than that, the coverage is actually really good. The support though, is more of a light to medium. I wish the straps were adjustable. They're thin enough where they could easily be adjustable. And I just feel like that would allow me to have just a little bit more lift. Overall true to size, but if you're in between, I would size down. I feel like I could be a little bit more compressed. I love the little wrap detail. I think it's super cute. And then we just have a little strappy detail in the back. I just feel like it's a nice, cute basic, but it has a little extra detail. They've also been coming out with a lot of built-in bra tops, which I think is really nice. Like almost every top you see on their website or on their Amazon has built-in cups in it. So this is just a little black top. It has a little scooped, almost crew neck. It does have an elastic all the way along the bottom and it has this super cute open back. And because it has that open back, it has those cup pads in there so that you don't have to wear a bra underneath it. So it's kind of between a top and a bra. It almost feels more like a sports bra than it does a built-in bra top. It has an elastic along the bottom here has the cut pads. I would say true to size. If anything, it feels a little bit snug. It stays nice to put because of that elastic at the bottom. It's super cropped. It's definitely sports bra length, not even long line sports bra length. So expect to show a good amount of skin. And then the back is super open, which is nice because you have that built-in bra, so you don't have to worry about ruining that open back look. Reminds me of like a navigation top, except I don't think the navigation top, at least back in the day when they had this one, I don't think it had any built-in padding or anything. This is their Sienna bra, which I have talked about before, and I wouldn't talk about it again, except I thought this color was like so cute. Like it's giving the Little Mermaid. And this top also like almost kind of reminds me more of a swim top than a workout top, but it's good for those days where, you know, you're just lifting weights, you're not doing any cardio, you don't need like a ton of support, but it's still super cute and has that super open back. I think this color is just so bright, fun, and summery. I love a good teal. Definitely a cleavage moment, and we don't even need to jump to know that it's light support. But there are cut pads, which sometimes can be hard to find in a bra like this, so I like that. I would definitely say low coverage, and I definitely have risk of falling out of this one, so this is one that I definitely have to choose my gym day very carefully if I'm going to be wearing this to the gym. That's just for me as a larger cup size. If you're a smaller cup size, this is super flattering. Definitely a little bit of side boob as well. Also super cute open back back for back days. So it's not the most functional sports bra. If you're looking for a functional sports bra, obviously this one's not gonna be it, but I think it's cute. It's also true to size. If you're in between, I would probably size down. And here's where we get a little bit crazy. They made a onesie, a unitard, if you will. I don't know what like the proper name for this is. A jumpsuit, a bodysuit, everyone calls it different things. But these are very in right now and I will wear a black bodysuit, you know, for some errands. I just throw on a little lightweight jacket over it and honestly, it's an outfit. And you didn't have to think much about it. The only thing is that it can be a pain to go to the bathroom in these. So we have built-in cups. There's not actually like a separate bra. There's not actually a separate elastic or anything, which is kind of a bummer, but it does have a little curved contour under bust seam as well as almost some little like corset style details it also has no front seam which is super important to me and looks like maybe like a six inch short which is also hard to find and then it's super open in the back the back scoops super low and it has a little scrunch i don't know how i feel about the scrunch but maybe it'll look cute maybe it won't be super scrunchy anyways i'm keeping an open mind i just want to apologize because i just feel like the mini reviews today there's just a lot that i'm not liking and i hate film videos where everything is like kind of disappointing because i like to be impressed by things. And I just feel like today, lots of things are letting me down, including this bodysuit. Doesn't feel right. First of all, definitely not long torso friendly. Before I yanked this up as far as it could go, the bust area was down here. It's never gonna give me the lift that I want. The straps are not adjustable. It's just never gonna get there. That is mostly on me and my body type. I get it, but there are other things that I'm not a big fan of. It does have removable cut pads and a little contour detail. I just, I really need an elastic thrown in there. So I would say there's kind of minimal support for the girls here. Like this is definitely like a sexy bodysuit. It's not something I would really feel comfortable working out in personally just because I feel like I would fall out here we have an issue in the back some of the seams here are not flat lock seams they are just like single stitch and they have all that extra and I will show you but the stitch kind of sticks out on the inside I just always like when a brand goes the extra mile and does all flat lock stitching it's just a cleaner look and it doesn't have that like irritating feeling it feels like the stitching is kind of poking into me peach peach hey cat because we haven't been getting a lot of cat appearances yet because Peach is usually behind the camera on her tree, but Pinto actually took the top spot on the tree right now. So Peach is right here, having a good time on the ground. I love her so much. 
and you guys do too. You guys always want more cat appearances. So Peach, can we make that happen please? Yeah, anyways, as I'm wearing this, I just feel my girls being dragged down and down. I don't like that feeling. I do like the little corset seam detail up here. I love that we have like a little V tapered here as well. It's great that there's no front seam because if there was a front seam, it would be causing me problems because of the height issue. And I also love that they are a six inch and the shorts are actually pretty spacious at the bottom. So I would say fit by friendly. The back is super open, but this area down here, first of all, you can like definitely see my underwear unless I like really shove it down. And I'm not even wearing like high rise underwear. I also feel like it's just a little bit loose around here to the point where what are we going to expose, you know? So it's just not really secure enough for me. Um, I'm just not feeling this one. I feel like we've talked about it enough, but. And lastly, like I mentioned, they love to do those built-in bra tops. So they also do a lot of them in long sleeves. So this is one of them. I thought this was a super cute purple color. And it's basically the same front as the Sienna bra, except in a full long sleeve. It does have removable cups in there. No elastic or anything though. And then it's just plain and simple full coverage along the back. So we're gonna have light coverage low support. We do have the long sleeves. They're a little bit compressive. Like I said, the Oxtrox fabric just has a little more hold to it. You definitely are covered on the side boob, which we weren't in the sports bra, but definitely still at risk of falling out the top. So again, just choose your gym day wisely, or this might not be the one for you. Then full coverage in the back and no elastic along the bottom in the front or the back for this one. Next, we got some new Colorful Koala, which I have not tried Colorful Koala in quite some time. They were like my go-to legging back when all leggings had front seams, just because they were affordable, but they were actually like really good quality. They still do have the front seam, but I know some of you guys like front seams, so I try not to be such a front seam hater, although I am personally a front seam hater. Just for my anatomy, it just doesn't really work super well for me, but Colorful Koala has come out with their new Dream Lux fabric. Everyone loves to use the term Lux. Colorful Koala Koala has Dream Lux, Sierra's Yoga, I think has Butter Lux or something like that. Anyways, I had always liked Colorful Koala fabric. So these are the new Dream Lux biker shorts. They're a six inch short. And I'll give my Dream Lux thoughts when I try it on completely. But so far, feels very soft and I feel like it's going to be really nice and stretchy. Colorful Koala's old brush fabric was definitely a little bit more on the compressive side. Still had a lot of stretch, but it was just like a little bit thicker. So I'm hoping that this one maybe is a little more thin they could feel, although I did like the last one. So we have no top band or anything. There is a hidden waistband pocket in there. The waistband definitely is on the thicker side. So I feel like we might not have the most flattering glute seams because of that, but we'll see. We do have a slight V contour glute seam in the back. They actually have an extended crotch gusset that goes all the way down the length of the short. And let's try it on. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this fabric. Okay guys, I want to love the shorts. I think this Dream Luxe material is amazing. It's just like I expected. So it's also super thick thigh friendly because we have like really stretchy seams at the bottom here. I love that it's six inch. The material, it's not only super soft, but it feels like very stretchy and it's not going to limit you in your movements. So I think that's awesome. The material definitely gets a big thumbs up. But for me, there's honestly, there's just no getting around the camel. Like I don't think that these would necessarily give everyone a camel with my anatomy with a front seam I just can't do it like I literally just can't so it's just unfortunate but as soon as we adjust these to kind of being high-waisted we got problems we got problems so if you like a front seam which believe it or not there are people who do I know you guys are out there overall definitely true to size they are not really too tight anywhere and the seams actually do go above the glutes they could be a little bit more curved in the back if I'm being honest but this material is super stretchy it contours it does doesn't feel restricting. Um, so yeah, they also started making bras, which for the longest time, I don't know why, but they would not make a bra. And I am a matching set girly. Like I need to have a matching short and top. So this is the Dream Lux Bow Knot Bra. So the back has this cute little detail. I like that it looks like it's gonna have a decent amount of coverage in the front. Cup pads feel pretty solid as well. Maybe a little bit on the thick side. Thick elastic all along the bottom, which is going to be nice and secure. And then just some delicate straps. So it's not gonna be super high support, but at least it looks like it's gonna have some good coverage. All right, here's the bra. I like the band at the bottom. I feel like oftentimes brands like are trying to minimize this band and I actually feel like it can provide a good amount of support and just like security. Coverage is actually pretty good. I would say a good like medium coverage. We still have a little scoop, still a little scoop around the armpit, but I'm not really getting like side boob. And then we have these spaghetti straps and just a cute little detail on the back. 
It's nothing crazy, but it's a little something. This might bother you if you are like laying down on a bench or something or doing some core work on the floor. So just keep it in mind, but it's actually not too bulky. Support is like a light to medium support. And I really like the material. I think they did an excellent job on it, but I definitely feel like the cup pads could be improved. They are pretty stiff and they definitely stand out. I positioned them as best I could so that they would kind of blend in. But if I just take one out, it's super round, the edges are pretty thick, and it's pretty stiff as well, like it doesn't really have a lot of flexibility. So it's gonna be good for preventing any nippage, but it's definitely going to give you that like round shape right on the girls, which I just feel like is not the most flattering. So I would have liked to see a better cup pad. All right, next we have the Colorful Koala Dreamlux V-neck bodysuit. Yes, they have started making bodysuits. I've talked about it before, maybe if I love it or leave it, but I love the Pumi bodysuits on Amazon. Those are incredible, love the material, so stretchy and super comfortable. But this one's giving more of like an active bodysuit vibe. So it's made of the Dreamlux material, so it's really soft. Almost this has a Lululemon Align Tank like upper shape, even down to like the little seams on the back. I feel like that's very similar to the Lululemon Align Tank, but it's in bodysuit form and the bottom has like a seam. So it definitely kind of like cuts off, which is interesting. And I hope maybe like if you layer something over it, it's not gonna be showing, but I don't really know where it's gonna hit on me. And then it is actually a thong back, which is my preferred bodysuit. I don't really wanna have underwear lines. I'm a thong girly and I honestly find them comfortable. Then we have little snaps at the bottom as well, but I like to step into my bodysuits. I don't like to like put them over my head and then clasp them. But I guess when going to the bathroom, the clasps are nice, but any ex dancers know, you just pull it to the side. I'm I'm not gonna bother undoing the clasps, you know? I would say that's TMI, but you guys know we share everything here on this channel, so. All right, here is the bodysuit. I'm trying it on with just some loungy shorts, just because I don't really feel like it's, I feel like it leans more towards like an active bodysuit, which I don't know, it could be lifestyle, but I feel like the top of it is giving, I feel like it's trying to be an active bodysuit. So anyways, it's made of the Dreamlux material, super comfy, definitely a little bit of extra fabric for me around the waist area. So I feel like if anything, it runs a little bit on the large side. So just keep that in mind. The bra area though feels and fits like a normal size small, sports bra. It does have a full built-in bra on the inside, so we do have an elastic as well as cup pads. Pretty deep V, so not the most covered. I would say it's like a low to medium coverage on the top. I do like the V-neck style, I think it's cute. And then we have a little scoop in the back, but I'm just like not sure how I feel about the seams around here. Unless you're wearing something super high rise, you're going to see these little seams. It feels like it's a top connected to underwear when I see the seams. So I would like it to be a little more seamless. Maybe it's a thing to have these seams, I don't know. The thong part is actually pretty thin in the back, so it's actually quite comfortable. And there are two options for the little class bees at the bottom to make it a little more long torso friendly. And I definitely feel like this one is not too short for my torso. It's not feeling too tight. It actually feels pretty good. So overall, I love the material, but just a little confused about these seams. That's it for the mini reviews. Now we're moving on to favorites. I have one clothing favorite and I basically just hinted at them, but last month Petula launched these high flow pants and I have just been living in them. I bought a second color. They came in this color and then also black. They're probably pretty picked over right now sizing wise, but I just had to share them because I literally love them so much. They just make for like the cutest little like effortless outfit, good for around the house because they don't really collect pet fur. They're made of like a lightweight, almost windbreaker material, but it's really more on the quiet, flowy, lightweight side and not like super heavy and loud. The waistband is lined with what feels kind of like similar to the Cassie fabric. It's just a brushed legging material, so it's really soft against your skin. It does have that Petula logo right front and center, which I wish wasn't there, but it really doesn't bother me too much. I believe it's only a 31 inch inseam, but it surprisingly works for me just because they're so flowy and long. But you can see it's literally a wide leg all the way down. They're so lightweight. I can wear them in the 110 degree heat. I'm still okay wearing pants. Like these are the only pants that I can actually wear outside right now. And sometimes I just don't feel like shorts. And they're honestly super cute too. These ones I discovered were actually a medium. I believe I was supposed to get a small. Then I ordered a small in the black and the waistband is still a little bit big. So I would definitely 
stick true to size or size down if in between. They definitely run a little bit on the big side, but if you don't mind, they're still going to be flowy in the legs. Even if you get them in a smaller size, it just might be a little bit more fitted in the waist. Absolutely obsessed with these. My second favorite is kind of a home organization favorite, but as I've mentioned, and as you guys can see, I did just recently move and I like to upgrade some things when I move just because it just feels like time. So when I was organizing my closet, I used to just have like a shoe rack that I just kind of like put my shoes on and it would get kind of messy and I just don't really feel like it was the most like space efficient way to do things. And I'd seen people have those little plastic shoe organizers and I was like, you know what? Those look really cool and fun. I'm gonna try them. I've had no issues with these. They all stack like perfectly in my closet. They fit all of my shoes. I got, I believe it's just like the large size. I wear a size eight in women's shoes and that fits me. For Ian, I got him the extra, extra large because he wears like a 12 to 13. But it fits all my shoes. They're super fun. They open, they close they keep their shape really well they stack you can even like kind of link them together when you stack them i didn't do that because i was lazy i may i may figure it out at some point but anyways just like a super cute way to organize your shoes where you can still see everything inside of them and i highly recommend and my last favorite is not really a favorite for me but it is a favorite for peach and pinto i got them this super cute little cat tree i wanted it to be on theme with my room decor in here and just have it be super fun peach is sitting on it right now it's basically this like three daisy flower cat tree it's got little scratching posts for them the base of it is definitely not super cushiony they don't really hang out on the base they hang out on the flowers i wish that the second purple flower was just a little bit bigger for them because pinto just kind of like struggles to fit on there peach gets to have the top pink flower because she is the alpha cat she runs this house pinto abides by her rules so she obviously gets the top flower but they honestly just love it anytime i'm in my office they are sitting on that cat tree and they're sleeping away but just super fun i wasn't super convinced when i was first opening it up up, but now that the cats are loving it as much as I do, no regrets. And the last section of the video, we have quality updates. We just reviewed the Buff Bunny Naked Collection and I talked about how I loved this little exposed mesh jacket. And don't get me wrong, I love it. But when I was first moving in to my new place, I didn't have like a lot of jackets and I didn't have like a lot of clothes that were unpacked. I had all of the new Buff Bunny launch stuff in a suitcase, like ready to go. So I was wearing a lot of that because this was so lightweight, had a little more coverage. I was wearing this a lot. So I wore this all day for two days. And the black dye not only came off on my actual arm, I don't have any photos of it, but the entire, like this portion of my arm was like gray. And it took me like two showers to get it off. And I was wearing this little top underneath the jacket. I've washed this twice now, but you can still see. So hopefully we're focusing, but you can see a little black staining down it. So, it has stained my little shirt and I love this shirt. And it's not always super obvious because it kind of just looks like shadowing, maybe wrinkles. But if you're gonna wear the exposed mesh jacket in black, I have a feeling this is not going to be an issue in the lighter color, but it did come off on my arms and that was disappointing. My second quality update is not for a piece of activewear, but it's for a pair of pants. So if you guys know, I have talked about Abercrombie a couple times on my channel. Honestly, they're like my favorite clothing brand. I still wear these even though this happened, but it's just disappointing. I love their wide leg tailored pants just for like, you know, an alternative to jeans. I definitely wear them a lot like when traveling. They're just like super comfy and I'm not wearing jeans every single day. But these have pilled like madness. And it only happened to my brown ones. Like I have this in the blue and I, I think the blues are fine. We're gonna go, we're gonna go check right now. Intermission, please wait. Okay, I have some very minor pilling on the blue ones, but I've worn them just the same. And the blue ones overall have held up a lot better. The brown ones, they have pilling. They have like some fuzzies on them or I don't even know how it got there. And I just feel like the material needs to be changed. So even though it's not activewear, I wanted to mention it because it is a quality update. All right, guys, I think that is it for the quality updates, which means we are wrapping up this episode of Love It or Leave It. As always, leave your comments and suggestions down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.